So I'm a software developer um, and I work on uh, machine learning models uh, and AI. Um, and I got really interested in this Jetson AGX Xavier um, in part uh, when I read the specs. I had used the uh, Jetson Nano in the past, um, but the, the Xavier, or Xavier was really interesting. It's got a 512 core Volta GPU. It has an eight core CPU, which are ARM64, uh, so these NVIDIA Carmel CPUs, and 32 gigabytes of RAM. Um, th the 32 gigabytes of RAM is really unusual. Um, and this is that's a new update in the, the Xavier. Uh, it started off being 16 and it's now 32. So this got me really interested in it, so um, I ordered one. Uh, just really you know, quick unboxing so you can see what it looks like. Uh, it does come with everything you need. It comes with a power supply, which the Nano doesn't. That's kind of welcome. Um, and the cables are really nice quality. It has all the ports that you expect and need, including USB-C and USB-A. Um, and it's a nice little, a nice little compact unit. Um, so um, I was thinking, how powerful can this be? And for comparison, um, I wanted to see what it was like relative to uh, my, my laptop. Um, so the Xavier is quite heavy. Um, most of the, the weight is in the heatsink, fits in the palm of your hand, as you can see. Um, uh, but it's a nice little unit. It's, it's very portable. You can carry it around, no problem. Uh, so we're going to be comparing it with my daily driver notebook, uh, which is a MacBook Pro uh, from 2019. It has the Intel uh, Core i7 option, which has four cores, eight threads, uh, so it's hyper-threaded. Uh, and I really like uh, this laptop. I use it uh, every day. Um, it's my daily driver. The screen is excellent. The keyboard is excellent as well. Um, and, you know, I use it when I travel, uh, for example. So, um, you know, before we get going with uh, the, the, the Xavier, um, I just wanted to show you how to set it up, but also I want to show you how to put a, uh, an SSD in it, uh, upgrade the SSD. Um, so, uh, First of all, you have to take the feet off. Uh, so there's four screws there. Uh, they have thread lock on them, so they're quite tight. And then you separate the the logic board um, from the heatsink. And it's a little bit it's a little bit hard to do, but uh, uh, do it gently because uh, there is a little cable connecting them. Uh, and then this exposes the M.2 slot. And then it's as easy as you know as I'm showing. You just uh, put your SSD in and screw it down. Uh, so in this case, I'm using a Western Digital Black uh, one terabyte drive, uh, which is pretty fast and it should be comparable to uh, my notebook's SSD, I think. Um, uh, and it, easy to put back together. You just uh, clip it back together, uh, screw the feet back on. Uh, it's as simple as that and you're done. Now, one thing I would say is that you should update the operating system uh, on the on the Xavier to the latest version. Uh, and so there's a, a nice little tool that's provided uh, by NVIDIA. So you need a, an Intel Ubuntu install to do this. Uh, so it's called the NVIDIA SDK Manager. And uh, it basically allows you to select the version of Jetpack you want uh, and your target uh, hardware. Uh, in this case, uh, Jetson Xavier. Um, you can select all of the components, including here you can see things like uh, CUDA um, uh, and uh, flash them onto the device. And all you have to do is connect a USB to USB-C cable to the right port on the Jetson uh, single cable and it will flash uh, the onboard uh, SSD for that. So this is what the operating system uh, looks like. It is Ubuntu and it's just been uh, adapted uh, by NVIDIA and it has all the NVIDIA tools pre-installed, which is awesome. So the first thing I wanted to do was compare the CPU uh, uh, performance. Uh, so the way I did this is I used a program called Sysbench. You can get it for uh, you know on Macs or, or, or Linux and you can also get it for ARM Linux as well. Um, so um, Sysbench, uh, the CPU benchmark basically generates prime numbers, so it's not very representative, um, but it gives you a, an idea of how strong the CPUs are. And you can see the Jetson Xavier in this case is doing really well. The interesting thing as well is that my Intel CPU uh, is about the same TDP as the Jetson Xavier, so from, you know 28 watts versus 30 watts, and you can see the performance. And clearly the Jetson is doing really well in the multi uh, the multi core version just because it has four more cores than my Note book. Uh, so CPUs look pretty strong. So moving on, I wanted to train some deep learning models. So here we are. I'm actually building a uh, Scottish poet uh, AI. Um, so the interesting thing which I've highlighted on the screen is in TensorFlow, it actually sees 
the device memory uh, on the Xavier as 26 gigabytes. So it has a lot of RAM available to its GPU. And I think that's really what makes the biggest difference here uh, with the performance of the Xavier. It's able to, able to leverage all of that RAM. You'll see here it's just started to leverage the RAM. It started, it's, used it, it's using it all in this uh, particular um, Scottish poetry AI that I'm building. So um, how did I compare um, my daily driver laptop to the Xavier? Um, I used GPT-2 fine-tune. Uh, you can see the GitHub repo there with the code. It's actually the smaller model. Um, and I did uh, a thousand fine-tuning steps on each device. So you'll see here the um, my, my laptop took about 13 hours, which is a really long time to do this. And the Xavier completed it in 100 minutes. So massive difference. And it's really the uh, GPU which is making the difference there. Um, um, you know, the other interesting thing is it stacks up pretty well relative to um, another GPU that I used in this test, which is my Tesla K80. Uh, there's two GPUs on that card, so it only used one, so it's actually half, ha it's, it's about half the card, so it's only using like 150 watts, but it still compares very favorably to um, that's a server class uh, 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 GPU. So uh, the Xavier really performed well um, in this kind of test and um, I'm kind of interested to see what uh, what I can do with it. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching.